Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Well, who is ready to keep stuffing those stockings? Stay tuned. So as you guys know, this week we have been making stocking stuffers and they've been miniatures. So we've made some small boxes and today's project is just so super cute and y'all are going to love it. It is this adorable, just sweet, fabulous, cute, all of the above little purse and it measures three by one by two high and it will hold little goodies, mini um, fingernail polishes, chapstick. It's very versatile. So you can stuff it with a little something to drop in someone's stocking or to leave on the desk of a coworker. Guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. And we are going to make this and it is so quick to make, you are going to be super surprised. So let's get started. This project only takes a six by six piece of paper and then some scraps for the side. So that means that from one 12 by 12 piece of paper, you can make four purses. Or if you've got a six by six paper pad, you can make bunches of purses. So here's how we do it. So we have a six by six piece of paper. We are going to score this at one and a half. We're going to turn it this way and score it at one and a half again, just to make sure everything is nice and even. And then we are going to turn this and we're going to score it at two, at three, and at five. And that's it. So we are going to take this and we are going to fold and burnish our scores. And then we are going to take glue, tape, whatever it is you want to use. And we are simply going to take the glue and we have these two wide panels on the end. So you're gonna have a narrow piece at the top and you want that at the top. And then you're gonna have a narrow piece here and you want that in the center. So then you'll have two wide pieces. And these are the pieces that we're going to glue into place. So I'm gluing mine, you can tape yours. It really doesn't matter what you choose to use for this portion. So all I'm doing is gluing in. We are not doing any cutting on this portion of the bag at all. That's how easy this is, guys. And then we're going to turn it and do the same thing over here. So with our little purse, by doing this, we are already lining it. So I'll take this one fold it over, come back with my bone folder, and let's make sure we get this nice and stuck. And then all we're going to do is just take it, wherever we have a fold line, we are going to do a very gentle fold. So then we are going to come back and we need to make our side pieces. So to make our side pieces, I have a piece that measures two and a half by two. And I am going to bring my scoreboard back in for just a moment. And I am going to score this at half an inch, at one, and at one and a half. And I'm scoring this on the two inch side at those measurements. And then I'll turn it to the two and a half inch side. And I am just going to score this at half an inch. So we're gonna take this and just fold and burnish these scores. And then we're gonna come back with our scissors and we will have two small squares in the corner and we're just going to remove those. We don't need them.
and this is what we're left with. And I've already done one. And now we can put our bag together. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to use a little bit of hot glue because we're gonna make this go really, really fast. And all I'm going to do is take this piece right here and this is my bottom and I am going to attach that piece right in there. Just like you see me do on my larger paper purses. Let me get this down. Just like that. Then I'll do it on the other side. And you can use your scrap pieces of paper to make the sides of your purse. So if you've got some scraps, hold on to them because they do come in handy. So now all I want to do is just put this little purse together and I am going to take my glue, run some glue just like that, and I'll fold it up just like this. And I'll come back on the inside with my bone folder and get that glue smoothed out. Then I'll come over to the other side, take my glue, and I'll get this stuck. And this is a quick and easy project. I'm gonna to try to work a few of those in, in between my more complex 3D projects. So we can have a few that go really quick and some that might take us some time to make. So then I'm gonna take this one, fold it up, and I'll come back with my bone folder, and then I'll come in on this one, and I'm just gonna hold it like this so I can get some glue down on the inside. And then I'll put it together. Just like that. So we're gonna pinch in like this, making sure that our sides are nice and crisp. And then we'll fold this over just like that. That's how easy that is. Okay guys, so now we need to close this and ordinarily on something this small, I would use Velcro, but I am out of Velcro. So I have these teeny tiny magnets and I am going to use those. So I am just going to pick up my little teeny magnet with a glue dot and then I'm just gonna stick it down about right there. And then I'll take my next magnet, place it there, and then I'll come back with my second glue dot and just get that stuck to that magnet. And then when I take it and fold this over and give it a good rub, my magnet should be stuck to the top, and it is. So there, we've got this done. And now I want to take a small strip of coordinating paper and I'm gonna put some glue on it because I just wanna break up the look of this purse and give it more of a purse look. So I'm just taking that small strip and placing it right here on the edge. And then I'll come back with my um, bone folder and just smooth it down. And don't you think that looks more like a little purse now that I've added that strip? So then the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and add the loop for my back. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a piece of cording and all I'm going to do is I am going to take my glue gun and just glue this cording to the back. So I'm gonna lay the cording right there so that it'll be close at hand when I need it. And I am just going to run a very thin bead of glue, as thin as I can get it, from the bottom to the top. And then I'm going to take my cording and put it in my glue just so that it will stick. And then I'll fold this over, figure out how high I want my handle to be, and I think that's a good height. 
And then I'll do the same thing over here. I am just going to run a thin bead of glue, as thin as I can get it, from the top to the bottom. So then once I have it on like that, and I look at it like this, I am very pleased. So then I'll come back with my scissors and just remove this piece, the overhang excess. And we have got a really sweet, cute little purse. But you know what? We're going to make it a little bit cuter. So I am going to take some of my little jingle bells that I got last year from Hobby Lobby on sale. And I am going to add some glue right there. And then I am going to take my little bells, put them in the glue. Let them sit just like that. And then I'll take some more glue. And I'm going to come back with my flower. Oops, didn't let my bells get dry, but that's okay. I'll come back with my flower, just like that. And then I have this little sentiment that I want to add, and it says, Happy Christmas. So I am just going to take a little bit of glue, tuck the glue right there, and then I'm going to take this, get it stuck under my flower, and in between the bells. And now we have another really sweet stocking stuffer purse. And guys, don't you think that these are just so stinking cute? Make a whole bunch of these. Put them out on your table at your craft fair or make them to give to family and friends. They are just so sweet and so easy to make. So I hope that you guys have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.